Uh, we'll begin, though, with one of the most famous revolutionaries. In fact, we'll talk about three characters that made up what was known as the Mountain, uh, these radical Jacobins. Uh, we'll start out with Jean-Paul Marat, who lived from 1743 to 1793. Uh, he was a great strategist of the revolution who uh, proposed using various forms of terrorism to actually accomplish the ends and the aims of the revolution based upon the Enlightenment. Uh, he ultimately uh, was well loved by the people, even though he was often kind of despicable in terms of his character because he was so eloquent and so well spoken and was even seen as being so absurd. In fact, he loved to be quoted, even if it made him look ridiculous, because after all, any publicity is good publicity. Ultimately, he became kind of the bridge between the Jacobins and their radical thinking and the people because he was seen as the great celebrity, the great beautiful voice of the revolution. He was famous for saying things like, no gods, no masters. And that was a motto of the revolution. Get rid of all of those things and let man be truly free according to the ideas of Rousseau. However, he never was able to lead the revolution long because he was actually murdered by a rival, uh, Girondin, uh, in his bathtub while he lay bathing one day, reviewing the orders of the French Revolution. In fact, it was made famous by a, paint, uh, by a painting by the great revolutionary artist David. Ultimately, uh, his funeral uh, had a great speaker, one of the most infamous characters also, uh, from the time of the French Revolution, uh, somebody who had been imprisoned uh, due to his sexual perversions. The name, of course, is the Marquis de Sade, which is where we get the word sadism from. And Marquis de Sade had this to say about Marat. He said, quote, like Jesus, Marat loved ardently the people and only them. Like Jesus, Marat hated kings nobles, priests, rogues. And like Jesus, he never stopped fighting against the plagues of the people. In other words, you remember, of course, Jesus in the Gospels, how he's always uh, getting on the case of kings and always saying how governments shouldn't actually be around. And he's always fighting, leading an army to conquer the Romans. Wait a minute. Actually, that doesn't actually happen. In other words, Marquis de Sade entirely reinterpreted even the story of Jesus which is pretty doggone bold to actually praise Marat. As for the body of Marat, they removed his heart. Uh, they hung it and let it dry naturally, because that was better, uh, hanging from a string above the main meeting table in the main club of the Jacobins, to forever be a sign of the great zeal of the revolution. And yes, it would have stunk.